it's Chris here from Griffiths Eating. It's uh, seven o'clock. Don't know I'm looking at wrist. I ain't got a watch on. Seven o'clock Monday morning. <clears throat> got a call out to a gas leak just up the road from where I live. Uh, state agent could smell gas. Didn't do anything about it. Just informed the customer who lives 200 miles away. And uh, they got in touch with me to have a look. So I'll run you through the process quickly, finding a gas leak. I always find finding a gas leak is pretty pretty straightforward thing to do if you know what you're doing if you know how to isolate the legs of the system it's it sounds like it should be a difficult job but usually you can find a gas leak within 10 20 minutes uh, on most jobs and this is this is how i do it so quick look at the gas meter and you can see it's been capped off by the utility provider and first thing you do is a quick inspection of the gas meter setup to make sure there's nothing uh, to untoward about it it's been recently upgraded to a smart meter by the looks of it. Um, you've got smart electricity and smart gas down there. First thing I noticed, we've got a lead tail uh, coming off the meter. That's not a problem in itself, but if you look here, you can see it's been kinked almost flat. So there's virtually no gas getting through there. So that leads me to think uh, that there's not been a great deal of maintenance done in this property for a long time. I think it's been empty for two years. So the boiler probably hasn't been looked at for the best part of half a decade. Um, <clears throat> and you can see it's all all old, old fittings, probably from when the house was originally done. Um, I think these are 1940s houses, so it won't be original, but it won't be far off. Um, and as we can see here, we've got the lead coming off here with the kink in it. And then we've got a T here where someone's put a, a new combi boiler in. And the old supply, which there's no other gas appliances in the house. So I'm assuming, I have to assume that that goes to an old boiler that's no, no longer in service. It's no longer here. And that goes under the kitchen units to the boiler that's in the, an outhouse. So on initial inspection of that meter, um, without even testing it, it's pretty clear where the leak's going to be. We've had a new semi-rigid, so it probably won't be cracked there, because sometimes the semi-rigids crack and start leaking. I reckon uh, the pipe set in the concrete has rotted away, and we're getting gas leaking through the concrete floor. That's that's my initial thought, so we'll get it tested, and we'll... Uh, isolate that leg and then we'll see where we are with that but from the get-go we're gonna have to repipe this meter in copper because that is unacceptable so the first thing we're going to do here is remove the uh, utility suppliers blank disc from the meter hook the meter up to the test gauge <clears throat> and then we're going to pressurize the uh, gas pipe work and put a test on and see what happens so the first thing we do is a let by test which is to test if the um the emergency control valve which is this thing here is passing so we, we uh, gas it up to around 10 millibar and then we wait for a minute and uh, if we record a permissible rise there uh, we know that the uh, ECB is passing so as we can see <coughs> the gas isn't dropping like a stone which is a good sign, um, which means the leak can't be very big. <clears throat> so we've gassed up to 20 millibar, but we've had a bit of an overshoot there, but that doesn't really matter. Um, and we'll wait a one minute temperature stabilization, then we'll test it for two minutes and we'll see where we are with that, see what the gas leak is. So we've conducted our soundness test, and as you can see, there's been no permissible drop on the water gauge whatsoever over three minutes, or one minute stabilization, two minute test. That leads me to believe that either, I didn't take this nut off here, that there's another cap in there, um, and we're only testing this meter here, or the boiler's been isolated and the leak's on the boiler, so we'll go and check that. I should have checked first, but I didn't. Uh, so we'll, we'll go and check the boiler and we'll get back to you. So as you can see the gas to the boiler isn't isolated. Yeah, the boiler shouldn't be making that noise. Which leads me to think that's low gas pressure with the kink in the, uh, the 
the leaded pipe there, so we got problems. So now we've pulled a bit of gas through at the boiler and seen we've got a problem, we'll put another quick test on um, and see what happens. Uh, one minute stabilization, two minute test. Right, back in a minute. So I've just completed my second test after pulling a bit of gas through the boiler and checking the connections on the boiler were actually turned on just to make sure there was no second uh, isolation cap in there because that's really tight and I, I can't get it off without putting a massive amount of force through it. Um, yeah, there's no gas leak. Uh, two tests now and they both come back rock solid. So all I can think is um, that maybe the meter tail was leaking and when the emergency provider has come along and they, they put the cap in, they fixed the leak by putting the, the disc in and tight, doing it a bit tighter. Um, but clearly there's a problem with the boiler because it's making a hell of a racket on low flame, which <clears throat> which means there's not enough gas getting through um, because of the kink there. So we'll put a pressure test on at the boiler and see what we're getting there just to discount that. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to change that anyway, but uh, we'll just see what we're getting at the boiler. So because we've got the kinked gas uh, main on the boiler, we've rigged up a pressure test from the gas valve and we're going to run the boiler on full rate um, just to see if we do have bad pressure um, you never know I mean it's it could be okay so we're going to put the boiler into um, maximum mode and uh, watch the pressure so 21 millibar at the minute, so it's not quite on full rate yet, but it will kick in in a second. When you're ready, when you're ready, Worcester. Here you can hear it ramping up now. So at full gas, we've got 18 millibar isn't too bad considering how badly kinked it was um, so the noise coming from the boiler obviously wasn't through low gas pressure so we've got 19 millibar there now 19.5 put it on low rate and see what happens behaving itself on low rate now so <clears throat> obviously hasn't been fired up for a very long time oh no here we go low rate we got flames and it's staying lit on low rate so job isn't what it seemed so as you can see called out to a gas leak initial assessment of the meter was we saw the green uh, the green pipe going into the concrete obviously corroded in the concrete and it's leaking through the concrete put a test on it no leak whatsoever saw the kinked lead tail coming off the gas meter obviously there'd be no pressure going to the boiler because it's virtually flat I can't imagine there's a, how much gas is getting through there Put a test on the boiler, boiler's got gas pressure's fine. Um, so we've got no leak, the gas pressure's good. Clients asked me to service the boiler while I'm here, so we'll do that. Um, it's been looked after by British Gas, so you can safely assume that it hasn't been done properly. Um, so yeah, it's a non-problem. Um, I'm still gonna change the tail on the meter because I'm not happy with that kink lead and the meter isn't secure. Whoever did the smart meter install has just left it hanging off screws that aren't tight. So we'll sort that out as well.